Hey, this is Brett the Hitman Hart, and you're listening to the Smack Raw Podcast. What is going on, listeners? Welcome to the Smack Raw Podcast. We got myself, Rob Rude, and we got my tag team partner hanging out with me. His name is Kevin Crazy316. What is going on, Kevin? Yo, yo, yo. Good to uh, good to uh, get the uh, tag champs of the Smack Raw podcast back together. That's 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 how it's going tonight. Yeah, boy. It's been a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Two yeah, weeks ago, you, you decided to fall asleep, and then no. last week, my computer decided it does not want to work. It just... It failed me completely. Ah, so shit I happens, do the man. Yeah, it happens. It's good times. But here we are tonight covering AEW Dynamite. We had a damn good Dynamite tonight. I yes, thought it we was did. Pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Um, we'll get into it, though. Um, we are a wrestling podcast. We uh, do recaps. We do reviews. We do predictions. And that's pretty much what we do. Recaps, reviews, and predictions. And we also stream um, our... D- WWE 2K19 Wrestling League, where uh, the yeah, belt was... is very ugly, and Vince should <laughs> give us the belt we want, but he won't. Absolutely. So, but you're that right. Is what it is, but we, we and Kyle's character, <laughs> Kyle's character uses underhanded uh, tactics. I'm not into <laughs> it. He uh, he very illegally took the belt from me, so. <laughs> Um, oh, so I, I mean, we have that. some unfinished business. That's, I haven't that's seen all I'm it, saying. I, I heard about it. I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we do create wrestling content. Um, we do have like seven of us, and we do recaps, reviews, and we cover NXT, we cover AEW, SmackDown, Raw, all that happy stuff. You can find us on Stitcher. You can find us on Google Play, on iTunes, on YouTube, Spotify. Anywhere you can find podcasts, you will find us. We've put in the work. Yes. Next week is our year anniversary. Woo! Yeah, it's crazy. That's Time awesome. Yeah. Like, it just kind of, it was a side project, and here we are. One year later, we're still covering wrestling, and yeah, wrestling's a little different with no crowd. We yeah. Gotta, we got to plug that, but it is what it is. So. Yeah. But you so, know what? You were saying, you were saying good uh, Dynamite show tonight. Yes, sir. Maybe the best show, maybe the best no audience show so far, honestly. Yes, sir. I do agree. I do agree. I, I, but they, they I, had an so, audience though. Like they had. That's true. That's true. But I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't think they <laughs> should have done it. Like I mean, no criticism. It's cool. Like get some people out there, whatever. But like I don't want like ten people. If you're gonna have people, have people. Which is too early for that. Yeah. For the record, it's way too early for that. I'm talking. Right, 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 right. Have people, but it it just it, it felt weird. Like they were they made it to the crowd and there was like ten people out there. It was yeah, it was a little odd. It's it's yeah. weird. It doesn't make a difference. It makes it worse. I understand what you're trying to do. And like I personally don't like the wrestlers being out there. It's just oddball. I don't know. It, it's weird. It is what it is. But I seen it earlier in the show and I thought I seen Orange Cassidy sitting in the seats. Really? There, I... there just must have been another fan in like a, a denim jacket or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought it was Orange Cassidy. I don't know. I personally didn't like it. I'm not going to complain if they do it again. Cool. It's, it wasn't for me. I, I I think it took away from the effect. It is what it is, though. We'll see what happens in the future. But, um, really? Man, I liked it. I liked it that they do that with the wrestlers out there and shit and, like, having, like, the other employees. And I like I, – I thought that, like, at the very least, you do get some pop, you know, yes, from yes. those guys, which I think is really important. But I hear you. There are times where it does feel kind of awkward because you're like – Oh, well, it's just, it's like your goddamn coworkers out there. You know <laughs> right. what I'm mean? saying? It's, it's, but it's not a crowd. Yeah. They're on the same payroll. Like if they, <laughs> if they cheer for you, the boss told them to, it's like, like a sitcom. The applause thing lit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a good point, but <laughs> I mean, it's cool and all, but I don't know. I'd rather have nothing personally, but the, there's, there's a spot later that I'll, I'll bring up that I literally popped for. I, I got off my couch and fist pumped. I'm like, yes. Oh shit. So oh, I mean, shit. it wasn't that big a deal, but the type of guy I am and the content I like in my life, <laughs> little things in life are what make me pop. I'll I can't wait to later. hear it. I'll bring it up <laughs> later. Um, so we start the show and instantly we hear Excalibur and we hear Jim Ross on commentary. Yo. It instantly made me sad. 
Did Jim it? Ross, I was excited. Jim Ross I popped. Is cool. Jim Ross is cool. I can do without. And don't get me wrong, Excalibur is amazing, and he has great chemistry with Tony Schiavone. But you know who has better chemistry with Tony Schiavone? Chris Jericho. I know. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But, like, it was like, I don't know. It felt like a bit of normalcy yes, having, like, yes. the, which I, I kind of dug. But, I, yeah, it's hard to deny what Tony Schiavone is. Yes, yes. You know, it's good. Jericho it's good. Don't together. get me wrong. And I'm over it. I'm not mad. But I, I, I just love me some Chris Jericho calling everybody a stupid idiot. And just oh, yeah. criticism for everybody and how everybody had a bad attitude. I know the inner circle and he, how he doesn't. <laughs> he has a problem with everybody. I was down for it. But oh, me too. It, it is what it is. Jr. was back. He didn't do too bad tonight. I thought he did well. Um, he, he, you know, he didn't make those stupid mistakes that Shivani was making a few weeks ago, like going to commercial and shit like that. Like I noticed, like some of those things were a little bit more smooth. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that's just you know the years that Jr. has been doing it that he just knows those kinds of things better. I don't know. I'm not as familiar with Shivani probably as I should be, to be perfectly honest with you. Like. I didn't watch very much WCW back in I the day. I, like, I, so. I did bad. Like I had a VCR and I was t- I, like, I had a VCR hooked up to a VCR and like, I was taped, <laughs> like I was taping them both at the same time. Jesus. Just so that when I switched back and forth, I could, you know, watch yeah, both the next day too. <laughs> Cause like, I was all about it. It was my thing. And yeah. yeah, I was definitely in a WCW and I definitely love Tony Schiavone. And I, lo- I loved every time the outsiders just took over the booth and Shivani looked like he was going to shit himself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, guys. I remember little things like that, but I, I like, I, I was a WWF guy, and so I talked a whole bunch of shit about WCW <laughs> <laughs> the day. But, but looking back on it, I wish I wouldn't have, and I wish I would have watched it, you know, more. Yes, but it, it, was de- it was definitely good times. Between the two, WCW was shit. But you know me, I'm down for the shit stuff. Like it, it can yeah. be bad, and I'm still gonna love it. And, hey, Kyle, Usi hot. Nah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, there were some cool things that came out of WCW for sure. I mean, like the NWO. Oh my God, mm-hmm. man, they're like <laughs> DX and them are probably the cool, the two coolest stables in wrestling history. I was just gonna say you know? NWO was the second best thing to ever come out of wrestling ever, and DX. <laughs> first. I mean, so they created some content. They paved the way. Yeah. They really did. Mm -hmm. So we had Joey Janela against Cody Rhodes to start the show. My wife was sitting on the couch. Like, she doesn't really like wrestling. She's tried. She just tried watching it with me. It bores her. (laughs) It bores her. She just can't do it anymore. And she looks at me and she goes, why is Cody on the TV again? He's the only guy I ever see. And I was like, one. Okay, they can't use everybody right now. Okay, they are yeah. limited. You can't have everybody in the stadium. And two, right. Cody Rhodes is a goddamn legend. That's why you yes. see him on the TV every 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay, he, That's he needs to be on the TV every goddamn week. <laughs> every you know, week, every match, have him out there. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, that's promos funny. in between every match. I don't care. He's <laughs> Joey Janela. He hasn't been around for two months. Who can we stick him in there with? Oh, Cody. That way yeah. people be like, oh, Joey Janela, yes. Which they did have an amazing match. I have to plug it out there. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, that was way better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Like, I kind of thought it was just going to be like a Cody Rhodes showcase kind of a thing, mm-hmm. you know? Not not a squash match, but, you know. But more but Cody like, than it yeah. was. It, it oh was my definitely, God. it was so back and forth. It was so good. Yeah. That's the one thing that AEW does so fucking well is, like, they make me doubt the winner in matches yes. like that so much better than um wwe even though like going into it i was sure cody was gonna win and i'm not surprised that he did win or anything like that but there were moments in that match where i legitimately thought joey janela was gonna win you know what i'm saying like or at least there was enough doubt where i was like holy shit it, are, did they really <laughs> come to win you know what i'm saying like right 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 some yeah. of them false threes you're like wait is this is this really gonna no okay. yeah no yeah okay, okay. <laughs> yeah i mean especially with cody like you know getting into the you know uh well being the the first potential tnt champion i was like they can't have him lose going into double or nothing too are you kidding me like right right <laughs> I honestly thought that match was tonight for some eyeball reason. Like, I knew, like, it was going to be at the pay-per-view, but for a split mm. second, like, I had a brain fart. When they're like, Cody Rhodes going to fight Joey Janela, I'm like, no, wait a second. What? A- oh, wait, never mind. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time, that's a pay per view match for sure. Oh yeah, I mean main event, obviously. I mean they were plugging it tonight all night. I do you have know. to give props to Cody's weight belt, the black <laughs> with the rainbow lettering. It it was yeah. it was a very fun color scheme, very fun. Yes. Um, there was a point in the match where um. Janela countered a crossroads and he threw Cody into the ropes face first. I thought a six one nine was coming. Like that's instantly. So did I. Oh my god! But it, it like Cody bounced off the rope. But I thought yeah. they were about to bust out of look at we look what we can do. Look what we can do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I, I kind of did too. You know. Um, <laughs> the plugs know. they love to throw at WWE. Oh I mean, yeah. Look. Would have made a lot of sense. Do. Look what I can do. Um, yeah. I have to also give props to Joey Janela's hair looking like Axl Rose <laughs> fork in a freaking electric <laughs> like, Well, d- I think JR even said something about <laughs> yes. his hair on commentary. Yes, yes. talking about his hair day. Oh, man. Like, it's so great. Even my wife was like, what's with the hair? I'm like, you leave the hair alone, okay? First you're dissing <laughs> Cody, and then you're going to diss the Axl Rose hair, okay? Come on. Come on. <laughs> so Cody but is a hair- salt. Off the ramp. Oh, my God. And landed on his feet. Like, let me just do a backflip real quick. Hit a man and still land on my feet. Like, it's nothing. Like, oh, wife, that was insane. That is why Cody Rhodes is freaking featured in every match. Yeah. Yeah. How many dudes can do that? <laughs> yes. You know? Yes. Yes. So Cody's weight belt finally comes off at the end. I was waiting for it just because it's such a mm-hmm. fun color scheme. I'm like, that's when shit gets real. So, you know, the shit's about to get real. Um, Janela smokes Cody with like a killer clothesline. I'm talking clothesline from hell. Yep. And then I realized I looked at the clock and it was eight seventeen. And I'm like, wait a second, are they gonna draw this match? Because it's a twenty minute time I limit. Know. And Excalibur and them talked for like three minutes, giving it till eight twenty three ish, and it was eight seventeen. And no sooner than I typed that, Cody hit a crossroads and. <laughs> Excellent match. Excellent. Yeah, match. it really was. When really this no was. crowd thing started, and as I mentioned earlier, they can't really use everybody right now. They got to kind of rotate and whatever have you. We're not getting yeah. many matches that don't really make sense. This one didn't right. make sense. Joey Janela versus Cody Rhodes, which is cool. But like AEW is all about storylines, keep it constant and whatever. But this match was amazing. I'm glad they put it in my face. Mm-hmm. I gained so much respect for Joey Janela tonight. Like absolutely, he kept up with Cody Rhodes. Like you said, it was a, oh man, this is a Cody show to show uh, Lance Archer. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Watch what I'm gonna do to Joey Janela. Yeah, but he, did, but he didn't, and then he did. Yep. But you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. He had to he had to earn it, you know. Yes, yes. Like it was uh, he, Joey Janela did not make it easy for him. Not so. at all. Not at all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, it was like you know this match kind of like you know. Storyline wise, kayfabe wise, wasn't exactly the most sensical, you know. But like, they really made the best of it. Those two guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you know, I'm I'm a lot like you when it comes to wrestling matches. When there isn't stakes like that, sometimes it isn't. Mm-hmm. It's just not good. It just. But like, I don't know, man. Those dudes just. I don't they, know. They, they really drew good. me in. They made it. Yeah. Good. There was nothing on the line, but it was it was definitely excellent. Mm-hmm. Um. Speaking of nothing on the line, this next package, we have something on the line. Women's video package showing Nyla Rose as a champ, and I mentioned something yeah. on the line because who's going to go after her title? They showed every woman in AEW right now, except um, was Chris Statlander in this package? I don't, I don't remember. She, I don't think she, she was. was in, she was in the crowd because they mentioned her. Um, after they showed the package or whatever, but I don't know if she was in that video I package. I don't think or she not. was in the package. Isn't she like number two or three right now? Like something you, like that. I mean, maybe yeah. she wasn't it, and I didn't catch it. And but I don't know. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. But that's beside the point. It did show what majority of the women in AEW are doing right now, and how they're all amazing right now, and how they're all doing their thing. But then they have Nyla Rose against Kenzie. Page. You you have this package showcasing what the women of AEW can do, and then you have Kenzie Page making her AEW debut at the age of 18 against this freaking Andre the Giant size women's <coughs> champion. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing that was like a little off to me is like you mentioned that, like, you know, they have this awesome women's package that like highlights all this cool shit that all the women are doing. And they have gotten a lot better, you know, since AEW started. And then you have the champion face a fucking jobber. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like what, what is the uh-huh. deal here? Now, it, it, it's in my notes here. She she might have a future. She, they mentioned she's only 18 years old. Yeah. So she hasn't, I mean, I don't know how long she's been in the indies, but she held her own. To oh, yeah. To the point she was allowed to. It's a job match. Don't go out there. And right. Don't, don't break her nose. But she held her own. But, I mean, you're showing what the women can do, but then you're going to be like, oh, but Nyla Rose, look at, let's show you how strong she is. We know how strong she is. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, so she won the match with two power bombs and then a sit down power bomb, and she just uh, beat the shit out of her. Like, but that moonsault or whatever the hell she oh, did yes, before yes, she yes, did the that. Swanton bomb. She hit the swanton yeah. bomb, and then she oh my grabbed God. her by the hair and picked her up. Yeah, that's what I was like. You don't need to do this. She's eight. Well, like, she's eight. I didn't stop. Like, she's already dead. <laughs> she's she had her whole life ahead of her. <laughs> no, no, but like as big as Nyla Rose is, I didn't think she could fucking jump like that. You mm-hmm. know that that moonsault or swanton bomb, whatever. That was nuts. Right, I, I right. fought for that, honestly. So, like, that was know. crazy. I, now that you mention it, I guess the match did do its job. Look, she's a beast, but no, look what else she can do. She's even beastier. Yeah. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Rob liked to Rob liked to squash match. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so that was that. I didn't agree with it, but it is what it is. I mean, nothing yeah. too much to complain about. Um, I did notice in the background MJF flashing around bills. Of money. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was hilarious. Although, you know what? I I, uh, I forgot about that Nyla Rose promo when she was like, I, I, I won't be, uh, you know, I'm only going to be a one-time champ because nobody's going to take the belt from me from that package before. Mm-hmm. Good God. That was a hell of a promo. Yes. You know? Yeah. And I kind of forgot, like, how, you know, I've forgotten about Nyla Rose. If I want to yeah, be, yeah, or, you know, yeah. being she, honest. She hasn't been around in a minute, but she's definitely yeah. a beast of a champion. And she definitely shows it. It's going to be exciting when she loses the title because they're oh, going to yeah. make it worth it. They got it built so big right now. That you can't just be like, okay, you know, she lost to a suplex. Like mm-hmm. it, It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see. I mean, I hope they, they start doing a build for well, double or nothing, too. You'd have to think. I mean, they were saying it on commentary. You'd have to think that she's going to defend the belt there, right, you know, right. and. And right now, you know, uh, who, I think they said uh, Hikaru Shida is the number one on contender. List. Yes, yes. Man, I would love to see that. I, but I want to see Shida win the belt, though. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's time to take the belt off of Nyla Rose no, yet. No, you know, no. Especially yeah. her being gone for like a month, and then she just yeah. comes back and just like, never mind, psych, I'm not the champ no more. I'm, yeah. no, I'm one-time champ. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm gonna yeah. Lose. So yeah, I, yeah. I definitely don't think she's gonna lose it. Um, I don't think so either. Then we had an MJF promo. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so good at what he does. He is so mm-hmm. good. He's drop. He drops a promo talking about how he's so great despite being only on TV six months. He's been around <laughs> only six months, which I, I, I think it's been like a year, but still, he still gets the point across. He's always being compared to legends. He's great, but he's no flair. He's great. He's no, but he's no Piper, which is valid. Like people oh, yeah. know who this guy is. And he mentions mm-hmm. that he's good enough to take a break and recover and still be a thing when he comes back. That's right. So he stands <laughs> you know? up and he mentions that he's good enough to take a break and still own his throne. And then they switch out his chair with the throne. And then he's like, Oh wait, psych! I'm gonna I'm gonna defend my throne next week or whatever the hell he said. Yeah. Which out of nowhere he's like, uh-huh. yeah, psych! I'm gonna be back next week. Yeah. I didn't know if that meant he's gonna be wrestling, or if he's just gonna come back and have another freaking work, or what? No, he's he they, they, he's they, uh, I don't know if you noticed that like on one of the bumpers or whatever before commercial break they said that he was gonna be like in action yes. next week. Yes, but they didn't he, say who he was. He was no, wrestling. No, they didn't. He yeah. had the second promo after the Sean Spears promo, talking about um, Sean Spears said, "I have a brother, and if somebody was whooping his ass, I'm going to whoop their ass." And 
Cody, you're a bitch because you didn't stop him. Yeah, that's right. For throwing in the towel or whatever yes, last. You didn't week. throw yeah. in the towel. You should have. You you let your brother get his ass whooped. I, this was really good. There was a lot in this package. Mm-hmm. Sean Spears, yes, you will defend your brother. Cool, bro. Defend your brother. But they're Rhodes's. They're the son of the American dream. They're the son of an absolute wrestling legend, something that you will never, ever in the world be. You can be the AEW champion, the WWE champion, the Impact champion, and have four indie belts all on your waist at one time. You're still not the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> you are not the Rhodeses, okay? Now, the Rhodeses got where they are by getting their fucking ass whooped and just taking it and just getting yeah. their ass whooped. Cody doesn't throw in the towel, okay? Like... MJF did for Cody. No, bitches yep. don't throw in. Bitches throw in the towel. The Rhodeses don't. Never. Now that's a rant. I didn't have a problem with the promo, but that's a rant yeah, because yeah. it was two sides to this promo. You, d- yeah. they're the Rhodeses, man. They don't do that thing. They they take their fucking ass whooping and then they go in the back yep. and they lick their wounds and say we're gonna get them again. Boo, let's go. Yep. That's what they yep. do. That's what they. Yeah, do. but kayfabe fucks Sean Spears. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i hear you though <laughs> now is it sean spears looking for a tag team champion did they just want us to forget about that until shit gets better because yeah you I, know i forgot was... about it until just now like this very thing. yeah <laughs> yeah i forgot like i didn't forget about it but yeah i didn't really think about it until like tonight because i was just like wait a minute the last time i remember sean spears like of course he had a match i think two weeks ago or something yes. like that i don't remember for sure but yes. like um I remember thinking to myself before he had that match, the last thing he was doing was like scouting to get a, you know, a tag team team partner. And then they were showing video promos from like everybody, wrestlers and people in their backyards. And I don't know. They might've just scrapped that for now because they don't want to bring in outsiders because of what, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. And I I mean, and if that's the case, that's, that's completely understandable. You know, like you can't fault them for something like that, you know? Right, right, right. So we did have a second MJF promo. And this was like literally five minutes after the first one. I thought that was weird. I, know. I don't know it why, but I thought weird. it was weird. I typed my notes. I'm like, I just typed this two seconds ago. I just typed MJF promo. Why am I typing yeah. MJF promo again? Anyway, right. he gets on there basically talking about, yes, I'm going to be blah, 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 blah. I'll be back next week. And Sean Spears confirms that they he will be wrestling, but they don't say who. But they use this moment to set up at double or nothing. MJF is going to be fighting Jungle Boy. Yes. Why? Why? I'm into it. I because they're, they're, they're I think it's supposed to like they're trying to insult MJF. Okay, that, that you know what I'm saying. I don't like Marco Stunt. I don't like Jungle Boy. I don't like him. I don't. I can't get into him. Marco Stunt has ruined Jungle Boy for me. Now Luchasaurus. <laughs> put, put him in singles and let him dominate everybody. Cool. Luchasaurus is awesome. But yeah. Jungle Boy, I, just, uh, I, I, I can get with you on the Marco stunt, but I'm I'm a <laughs> fan of Jungle Boy. Like I really like he because he's like he's small, but he's like even bigger than like Rey Mysterio and yes, shit like that. Yes. You know what I mean? Like he's uh he's not like I mean Marco stunts like barely bigger than my fucking son. You know what I'm <laughs> right, saying? Right, like right. It's, <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> Um, no. uh, but one thing in that promo I wanted to say, uh, Sean Spears, like put, um, like a tip in, jo- uh, in Shivani's, <laughs> in Shivani's jacket <laughs> and then he, and then he took it away because he said, I can't remember what he said, but then he took it back. I fucking <laughs> lost my mind. I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> oh, that was good times. <laughs> uh, now, speaking of Marco stunt, we, next week, um, tonight's show lacked the best friends. Um, Chuck E. Cheese eh. Taylor was in the crowd wearing a Philly 76ers jersey at the end, like during the last. Was he game. really? Yes. And <laughs> like, but there was no Trent. There was no, I, th- I swear to God, Orange Cassidy was in the crowd. I swear to God. He might have been. Like, it had to have been him. But uh, there was no best friends, but best friends next week are fighting Jurassic Express with Mark. Oh, Stone. really? And Orange Cassidy will be in best friend side. And you know how much I popped when I seen that. I'm like, I hope Marco Stunt gets so <laughs> Orange Cassidy. <laughs> so yeah. Orange Cassidy outside the ring. I want it to happen so, so bad. Is it Jungle Boy and Marco Stunt? Or is it Jun- and uh, Marco Stunt? It's Luchasaurus and uh, Jungle Boy. And they start oh, okay. with Marco Stunt and then with Orange Cassidy. Gotcha. To okay, make it okay, okay. Even. Like, if it was Marco Stunt and, like, if it was Marco Stunt, the best friends would just womp on him. Like, yeah. 
Well, I mean, maybe yeah, they yeah, wouldn't, yeah. and it would just make me rant because you can't kayfabe that. I don't care. The dude's two pounds. <laughs> I, you can't kayfabe it. I don't care who you're fighting. Even if he fight, like, fought Penelope Ford and beat her, I'd be like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jesus. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> no, I hear you. Margo stunts a little much, you know. And I'm going uh, to continue to rant that until he stops I know. wrestling. Be a manager. Cool. <laughs> Be a manager and once in a while interfere when they're not looking and they have absolutely zero way to defend themselves. Punch them. <laughs> but if they can they defend themselves, there's not they're, they're gonna stop it. And it's just this is me. Yeah. Moving on. I hear you. John Moxley's back. He yes. is fighting Frankie Kazarian of SCU. Yeah, you know what? Also, a match with no context that was really yes. fucking good. By the it, way, it you was know? very good. It was very good, but it. I don't know. I don't know why it happened. I just yeah. don't know why it happened. Like, the SCU music hit. Like, I know they mentioned this match earlier, but I forgot. The SCU music hit, and it was just him. And I'm like, wait, what? Time out. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Okay. Which, it was a good match. Um, Frankie comes out, and then John comes out through the crowd, and that's when I noticed there was a crowd, and it wasn't wrestlers. <laughs> I thought they just planted wrestlers in the back and just hope that we thought there was crowd, but it's wrestlers. No, it was actual People we didn't know unless they were backstage people or, you know. I, I think they said that, it, like, even those people were, like, uh, employees of, like, uh, AEW in some capacity. Just not, like, you know, on-screen talent or whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. People who have been tested and yes. confirmed clean. They mentioned that earlier in the match. I actually meant to say that. And I don't want to hear it for five minutes. They, five oh, minutes my God. Of, stop it. <laughs> Mention every it, time yeah and then take me back to my fantasy land because i'm getting away from that that's why i have your television show on my screen to get away from what's going on in the world right now yep exactly they took it a little too far i mean it is what it is but they, i don't want to hear it right back to the match yeah. at hand they mentioned that um frankie kazarian has 16 wins in aew right now now that is including uh, the, tag yeah, team matches tag. with his homeboy homeboy scorpio sky but uh this was his first match, singles match since January. January. So, well, this I mean, January 2019, they said. Did they? I didn't miss that. I didn't yeah. see that part. Jesus so, Christ. So that makes it was like even a year more and a like half. Why? Why yeah, you have yeah. this match on my screen? At least, mm -hmm. I mean, at least like Frankie Kazarian looked at John Moxley wrong in the locker room and John was like, we're going to fight. <laughs> okay, cool. There, boom. There's a reason that they're in the ring together. Like they looked at each other funny, or you know what I'm saying? Or John yeah. stepped in front of Frankie to going into the bathroom and he cut in line. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw him go pin you now. I mean, it's just it's not that big a deal, but throw us something. Throw us a little something. Nah. It's very easy. It's very easy. It is what it is. Yeah. Um Moxley flipped Kazarian over the rope. And, like, that ramp is there. I don't like the stupid ramp. I don't like it. it, it, it I'm not into it either. It, he flipped him over the rope, and I forgot the ramp was there. And I, like, gasped. I'm like, but he landed on the ramp. If there was right. no ramp there, the way he flipped him, like, Kazarian would have been hurt. <laughs> like, for sure. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He might have died, you know? Yes. Like, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> so, later on in the match, Kazarian hits a backstabber. And it made me think of... When Sasha Banks hit the backstabber on Lacey Evans and caused Bailey to win in a bullshit ending match because Lacey <laughs> Evans should have took the title, <laughs> but she didn't because Sasha Banks is a freaking cheater, and it made me mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. She's in the Money in the Bank match, isn't she? Lacey, yeah, I believe so. Oh, yeah, God, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she'll win it, but that yeah, she's you, in it. You, you shut your dirty mouth. <laughs> I mean, I'm just well, being honest with you, man. That's why I said right now I'm already, I'm already disappointed, and it's freaking <laughs> five days away. I'm already gonna be, <laughs> and they're gonna make her like be at the top of the ladder with it in her hand. And I was like, wait, oh yeah, oh my god, for real. And then all of a sudden she's just gonna trip and like fall. Yep. Yeah. Brock, Brock I... Lesnar's gonna come out. <laughs> <laughs> Brock Lesnar's gonna win the women's <laughs> Money in the Bank. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's gonna freaking flash on the screen. Ha, ha Rob Lacey ain't getting shit. That's what they do. That's what they do to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, she's getting a hell of a push right now, so who knows? But yeah, whatever. I mean, I think it's her time. Screw what every <laughs> other fan wants. Give the fans like me the ones <laughs> what they want that have stuck with her <laughs> since the start. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Uh, okay, so moving on. John anyway, AEW. <laughs> John Moxley hits a paradigm shift after an excellent match. This match was very good. Yeah. It was very back and forth. Like you mentioned earlier, there was a few spots where I thought, holy shit, Mox just lost. Yeah. Then, which they would have been very WWE-ish to have him lose. But, I mean, that's what AEW does. Maybe we will be WWE-ish. Screw you. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We do what we want to do. Well, like they said in the com- uh, in commentary, though, man, if, if Frankie Kazarian had won that match, Boom. it would have set up a hell of a title match for yes. Double or Nothing, too. Yes. You know? But speaking of setting up a title match, they well. couldn't do that because they were already setting up a title match and nobody had any idea until the Dark Order showed up and beat the shit out of John Moxley. Oh, as soon as they came, I was like, Brody Lee versus... Giggity, giggity. Yeah. Um, he, he jumped... <laughs> I didn't even Jeez. think that because I don't think of stuff like that. You know me. I just what's on the screen is what's on the screen. Wow! <laughs> Dark Order shows up. The minions jump Moxley. SCU comes running out, and then SCU gets jumped. Here comes Brody Lee. Clotheslines the shit out of Moxley. Says Moxley, "There's no crowd here to save you. You can't get the pop. You can't get the energy from the crowd." And he makes it clear that he wants the crown jewel. Yeah. He wants the title from John Moxley. So another plug of all them all the wrestlers being stuck at the airport yep. after Crown Jewel, Brody Lee being one of them, <laughs> taking that awesome photo, staring at the camera with um 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 um, um, um not my oh, Ford. Who who's who's the other uh, other street prop? Oh uh, Angelo Dawkins. Yes, standing behind yeah. him with a backpack looking at the camera. I know this because I was looking for thumbnails and I came across that. I was like, oh man, <laughs> that picture. That's why he said crown jewel. And basically Brody Lee says, I want the crown jewel. I want the title. Mox says, all you had to do was ask. So I know shit out of him more for saying it. Like that was badass though. <laughs> like after he got his ass kicked by all those guys, he's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I was just like, yes, yes, that's exactly what you need a champion to do, man. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good times. So they set it up and and in looking for thumbnails, um, Wrestle Twitter, some of Wrestle Twitter was bitching because that's what they do. Why do we have Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper when we can have new refreshing matches? This is new and refreshing. This is not yeah. Dean Ambrose against Luke Harper. This is Brody Lee exactly. against John Moxley under different circumstances, under a different creative, under a different owner. Yep. Under a company that says shit and flips the camera off. I'm gonna throw that out there. I mean, <laughs> Well, and they both just seem so re-energized, too. Yes. You know what you I'm can, saying? Yes, like, you can still tell that they're both out from under the bullshit, and they're like, yep. let's do this. We have new, mm-hmm. we can breathe new life. Speaking mm-hmm. of new life, we have Brandy on the on a promo talking about old life and Jake the Snake yep. Roberts, basically saying, stop talking your shit. This isn't 1991, calling him old. Mm-hmm. And then she literally says, Keep my name out of your dirty old mouth. I was like, oh, she actually mm-hmm. called him old now. That's great. Like, she was just referring, and now she actually did. And that was the height of that promo, basically. Shut your shut your old ass up. You don't yep. know me. You know you know everybody else but me. I've been in the background. Now I'm in the foreground. You don't know me. Shut up. That led us to QT Marshall against Lance Archer <laughs> with Jake the Snake Roberts. And Brady Rhodes. Yes, yeah, okay. Came out with okay, QT Marshall. Yes, Brandy yeah. Rose with QT Marshall. After this, they made it known that it made me want Brody Lee to take the title away from John Moxley, simply because John Moxley's great. Don't get me wrong, but anybody who knows me, I'm a heel guy. I love my heels. He stole the belt. Mox is his I know. Belt. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Excellent move. Great story. I'm just waiting for Chris Jericho to say something on the side about people stealing the AEW title. Because <laughs> he, he lost it or at yes. TJ Fridays or whatever the hell it yes. was. Yes. <laughs> that, that'll be great. So this whole match, QT gets a punch in and then Lance just beats the shit out of him. And then QT gets another punch in and Lance just beats the shit out of him. Lance gets the win. This match wasn't about the match. This no. was about the fact that Brandy got thunked by um, um, Britt Baker. Britt Baker jumped yes. out. 
Beat the shit out of Brandy, knocked her out, and Jake the Snake comes and snakes Brandy in the middle of the ring. Brandy's out cold. Jake the Snake is all on top of her, like getting a little too far. I'm like, come on, bro. Yeah. This is, like, it made me feel a little uncomfortable, yes, if I'm being honest. Like, it really did. It really truly did. But at yeah. the same time, you could have had Cody saying, You put a snake on my wife. I'm going to, I hate you. Or you can say you put a snake on my wife and violated her. Okay, now now you're gonna get murdered. Yeah, yeah. It works. They took it yeah. a little too far, but I think it works. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, uh, it was. It just. It. I don't know that it crossed the line, but it was close. It, yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, cross it. it <laughs> if this were, it tennis, was flirting with it though. <laughs> it would have been in, but it would have went to video review that yeah. to the line and yeah, the, the coach would have challenged it. <laughs> And you know, replay rule in baseball. You get one a one a game. It would have been the mm. one. It's <laughs> it's there. It would, I don't think it would have been overturned though. No, it would have been close. No, no, no. no. They were <laughs> lost the challenge, but they would have got a pat on the back because it would have been a good challenge. It's exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, yes, they almost crossed the line. For those who mm. didn't see it, look it up. It's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, good storytelling it's good storytelling and i like the you know um the build that they've had for uh cody versus uh lance archer and that's just part of it you know yes, yes. um i'm so i'm so ready for that match mm, man I can't it's gonna wait. be so good it's gonna be so yeah. good um i was just gonna say for a moment that i i kind of do you I was gonna say the crowd's gonna pop for this one, but yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Well, they would. <laughs> that I mean... brings me to they mentioned that they're going to be selling. I saw or I watched Double or Nothing from Home T-shirts, yeah. kind of like the WrestleMania. I wasn't there shirts, right? I might have to get one because I was thinking about it too. That's honestly, an excellent idea. Did you yeah. see the Jericho shirts last week <laughs> that they said last chance to get? I almost bought one, but I didn't. I guess I don't remember. Which they were, sure. There was like three or four of them. Omega had one. Cody had one. They were all for coat. They were all COVID shirts. Oh, and okay. Jericho shirt <laughs> said, hold on, what did it say? Oh, God damn it. It said, uh, God damn it. What was the first thing? The first part <laughs> said something. And then the second part said, Oh yeah. Wear a mask. And then the third part said, cover your ass or close yes. your ass. Or something shut like your that. ass. Shut yes. your ass. Yes. Cause that's what he was saying to people to tell them to shut up for a while. <laughs> he was just like, yes. shut your ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Like I, oh, I'm drawing a complete blank as to what it said, but it was absolutely amazing. Keep your dick. I think it was cover this- your face, close your ass or something. And it was, I think it was the, like the little bit of bubbly, like what he was doing there. I, I don't, I don't, but now I remember the fucking shirt because it was hilarious. Like, Speaking of bubbly, we didn't get a bubbly bunch tonight. That's kind of dumb. Oh, yeah, we didn't. That's true. That's true. Maybe they ran out of flim flam and they just ran out of ideas. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Last week was awesome, though. With the was uh, Manitoba so Melee was, was <laughs> yes. incredible. Yeah, we're actually <laughs> we're doing one of those on the Destiny side of town. Oh, nice. Like, I found out because what it is real quick is like we're doing if anybody out there plays Destiny. We're doing the uh, Boardman's Quarantine, whatever it is, just like they did last week in AEW. I hit the camera, and the guy after me gets hit, then he hits the camera. Only it's with Destiny moves. It has to be <laughs> something you do in Destiny, like a throwing knife, or I did what's called a well. A warlock drops a circle around him, and then he gets super, and you can't kill him, and whatever. I dropped a well. I found out the dude's adding effects to whatever. What oh, my like, God. Like, he's going to put a well around me and make the noise that it makes in the game. I'm like, bro, this That's is so sweet. Like, I thought I was just going to punch the next guy. And he, like, he gave me a snippet of his. And he did, like, this hunter golden gun thing. And, like, the screen flashed. And the gun was like, Pow! I'm like, oh, my God. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. So, great. so, moving on from Destiny, we had a Taz interview. And I was dying because he's like, here, we got Dobby Allen. I'm like, his name's yeah. not Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to Brooklyn, bro. But basically, yeah. he, he he tells Allen, you made mistakes last week. How do you feel about losing? Because you were a piece of shit and you didn't do good enough. And Allen just gave him a dirty eye and walked away. This made me think that Allen's going to freaking challenge Taz next week. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> stop, t- stop talking your shit, bro. That was that. I, I- Oh, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry though, Darby Allen. As much as I love you, maybe like one of my favorite things in AEW right now, Taz would fucking 
destroy you. He would eat you alive. Like, sorry, bro. Like, <laughs> yes, Taz is better than you will ever be. <laughs> yeah, and he's an absolute fucking maniac. He doesn't give a shit, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> he will eat your skateboard. Yes, and then shit and then, on you. <laughs> yeah, and then like projectile vomit it at you, yes. and it'll hurt somehow. Yes. Like, and you'll still see the birdhouse logo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so yeah. This leads us to our amazing main event. This main yes. event was so good. We had Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho, the sex gods, <clears throat> against <clears throat> Omega and Matt Hardy. First off, have we heard anything about Adam Page? They they did say something about it. I don't remember when they said something about it in uh, in commentary, but they said that like I bet you're wondering where like the young bucks are, and you know for that matter I where about the young bucks too. Did yeah. they beat up Matt and like that's why they're gone? Because he got well, garage doored. Yeah, I think that that was like the kayfabe reason for it. But like they they reason? came out. Is there any other? They reason? came. <laughs> they came out and said it was all. <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're right. No, his knee is blown up or something. I don't know. Like for uh, real life. No, 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 oh, okay. no! It's COVID, COVID stuff. They were like, um, oh, apparently they okay. they have like young children in their house and stuff, so they don't want to risk, uh, word, you know, being word. exposed and stuff. So like, yeah, you can't fault them for that. It is what it right, is, right? Right? You know? So that's where Paige has been too. Or yep. Is apparently, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, so just just like is, what we thought. What you, know? you do is, Matt got garage doored, and he his head got busted up. He's still in the hospital. And yeah. his brother is by his side. He ain't coming to wrestle. He's hanging out with his brother. And then Adam Page is in rehab because he just can't stop drinking beer. <laughs> there you go. Where's Adam Page? He's at rehab. Or he's at home recovering, but he's having issues drinking. His He, he keeps drinking. He can't stop. There you go. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big a deal. And obviously, there's the writers are paid thousands of dollars, but... Give me a reason. Something. Something. You know what? They could have just said, like, Adam Page was doing cowboy shit, and I would have fucking there you go. That's even, fought that's it. That's even freaking better. <laughs> that's even better. Like, like you could have done it tonight. Why you got yeah. Matt Hardy? Why you got Matt Hardy? Where's your boy Adam Page? He's doing cowboy shit. There you go. He can never come back, and I know what he's doing. This whole time, he's yeah. been doing cowboy shit. That's excellent. Yep. That's perfect. <laughs> but I, why am I not getting paid millions? You know, right, like, right. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Speaking of which, I was reading real fast. I stumbled upon, um, like Google sends you articles. Like when you Google yeah. something, and then you like keep googling it, it gives you random articles in your Google Now app or whatever. And of course, there's a ton of wrestling in there. And one of the um, WWE headquarters came up, so I clicked it. And then it, I, I started digging into how mysterious it is and how only one person has ever seen it because they, they won a raffle, but they, you know, they had signed contracts. Don't tell anybody <laughs> what's in here, whatever. Yeah. But the reason for that coming up is we're talking about creative. WWE creative, according to this article, I don't know how legit it is. Their assistants have an entire floor dedicated to just them. Jesus. I'm like, which means the non-assistants have to have at least two floors, right? Or just say just one. Which means in that entire building, that blacked out building, two floors alone <clears throat> are dedicated to creative. And you give me doo-doo shit, I'm coming clean. You give me doo-doo <laughs> shit like Usi hot. Come on. <laughs> I'm coming clean, he says. <laughs> What are you doing? You got two floors of motherfuckers who are paid to make me smile, but you come up with shit like Usi Hot and like, oh man, Pooper Scooper, it right, you know, it, it, it blew my mind. I'm like, you got. I mean, it's not too bad right now, but there was a stint there. Oh, it was awful for a minute. It really was. What are you, what are you doing? You got two floors worth of dudes making what it takes me 15 years to make. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. <laughs> to give me pooper scooper oozy hots. Dude shaving <laughs> each other's backs. And, wow. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah it, was, yeah, it was awful. It was awful. So speaking of not being awful, here it is. Remember earlier I said that the, the wrestlers in the crowd brought one good thing and it made me freaking pop? 
Pineapple uh, know. Pete took a swing at Chris Jericho. I literally oh. popped. I, li- I jumped off my couch and I fist pumped. I'm like, get him because you're going to get yeah. your ass whooped now. <laughs> but it made so much sense because Chris Jericho has been just like talking shit about that guy on commentary. Like, yes, since yes. he started doing commentary, you know. So. And what's even funnier is they keep referring to him as Pineapple Pete. <laughs> Do you remember what his name was before? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but he's going to come out as Pineapple Pete now. They're going to pretend that first name didn't even exist because it's, <laughs> it's Pineapple I, Pete now. It yeah. It's freaking Hawaiian pineapple shirt. I literally. I, I, like, I literally. Oh, pff, <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I like to think that like Jericho like came up with that completely off the cuff too. It was like totally ad libbed. Like it was, <laughs> you and know, like, the shirt and just spit it out. <laughs> pineapple Pete. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about yeah. to be one of the best storylines in AEW. Watch, like, what if, <laughs> what if Jericho loses? And <laughs> to Pineapple Pete. <laughs> yes, yes, because it, it's later. Oh on. my god, we, we didn't mention it yet. Um, J- Chris Jericho is wrestling Pineapple Pete next week on AEW Dynamite. They're yeah. wrestling. What if Pete I forgot about that? And like becomes a thing, and he's he's part of the rankings. Man, or what if Jericho just comes in and absolutely annihilates him, and he's like, "You're just a pineapple." <laughs> Go back right. to SpongeBob or something. The, the thing that's crazy is he, like, other than the Brooklyn bra- Brawler, might be the most over jobber <laughs> in the whole, like, in pro wrestling history. You know, like. <laughs> oh, and he has. So even, who knows? Like, we don't even, I, I couldn't tell you who he wrestled. I couldn't tell you what, like, because he's been in the ring. Yeah. We were more paying more attention to Chris Jericho talking shit about him. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So they, they but he definitely, definitely he definitely didn't win, so that's yeah, all that really matters. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't have paid me a million dollars to tell you if he did or not. <laughs> I was like, oh, Pineapple <laughs> Pete, he's a stupid idiot. <laughs> he's got a bad attitude. <laughs> Whatever Jericho said about him is just yes, totally true. It's yep. all true. Totally. <laughs> totally. It even says it on his driver's license. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. So Matt Hardy... To start the match, bites Sammy Guevara's finger. That's legit. Broken Matt Hardy, yeah. biting fingers. Good times, good times. The mm-hmm. first thing I thought, though, with this match was, <clears throat> you got pinfalls anywhere, no DQs. Um, are they going to embrace that? Like, we had, yeah. who, who was it? It was uh, Jericho, or no, it was Moxley and Hager, right? They had the, the yeah. punch out brawl or whatever, but they went the furthest they went was the freaking ring iron, and they didn't go. Yeah, any further. yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah, no, they didn't. And it was a, it was an empty arena match, falls count anywhere. So they literally like nobody was around, and they could have done anything, you know. Yes, and, and they these did. guys took a better advantage of those rules than yes. Yes. yeah. One thing, <clears throat> you know, I'll save it for later. Um, Hardy ends up getting Sammy Guevara on a table and he, he jumps on a ladder and he splashes him through the table. Guevara looked got, he looked real got, it was going to be a three count. And like, I thought it was like, we had like 15 minutes left TV time. Yeah. I was like, but if he kicks out here, I'm going to boycott this shit because like you can only go so far. Jack Hager pulls the ref out of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I see you. I got you. Because if he would, yeah. like, I legit thought if he kicks out of this, like, that's it. Like, you can't. Yeah. You, you took it too far. Um, after this, Jr. got a picture in picture plug right. Yes. Did you catch that? Yes, did you he catch did. That? Yes, he did. I was expecting it to go wrong. I'm like, it's not mm. gonna happen, and I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> He does fuck him up. That's like he botches him all the time. Yes. All the time. Yes. So the picture in picture happens. And I was watching the commercials. I wasn't even paying attention to the wrestling. And the picture in picture comes back and they gave me my wish. They were in the stadium area. Yeah. And they brought it up that I didn't even know that like where they were wrestling, the outside is the outside of the Jaguar Stadium. Yep. Like they're they're connected and I had no idea. So I didn't know that either. They're so. in the Jaguar Stadium, and Jericho's throwing Hardy in an ice machine and closing <laughs> the door. <laughs> Fucking um, insane. Guevara slams Kenny Omega into an ATM machine, and money pops out. And he throws it in his <laughs> <laughs> Matt Hardy comes out of the ice machine, and he jumps on a golf cart. 
know. <laughs> he picks up Kenny Omega. <laughs> And they start chasing Guevara, and the look in Kenny Omega's eyes while oh he's my God. pointing at Guevara. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I, and then when they actually hit him, I was like, holy fuck, I hope he's okay. Yes. Like, I mean, I legitimately, I was like, don't get me wrong, it was awesome, but like, that, he hit his it. head, and I was like, fuck, he's dead. I made that something. as a bullet point, because like earlier... <laughs> Before the Omega thing, I was so excited about the Omega thing. I forgot to plug that Jericho also got hit by the golf cart. Oh, he didn't? I must have missed that. Yes. Holy shit. But you didn't. It, it didn't get embraced in your mind because just like Guevara's, it wasn't sold well. And you know me. I don't look at stuff like that. Like, if he got got, he got got. I don't care how it looked. But, like, it's Jericho, like, he didn't really get hit. And then Guevara, like... It looked like he was going to get hit, and then he jumped out of the way and did the hand-head slam thing. Yeah. And it just, it didn't, he didn't sell it very well. Like, he did, but he didn't. I was like, that looked fake. Like, come on. I don't know, man. I I gasped. I was like, holy shit. Sammy Guevara is yes. legit like, dead. It, was, I was it, like, it, it <laughs> wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong, but it was, I don't know. I felt it, it could have been done better. But at the same time, they're the ones out there that have worked their whole life making millions of dollars, and I'm a guy on a podcast with my homeboy Kevin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just like it looked like his head fucking bounced off of the, like the the rail of the thing. Like, I mean, he did, I mean, obviously, he didn't get like ran over by a fucking golf cart, but like he, he, he you know, you could tell that it was all hand. That was my yeah. problem. You could tell, like, it didn't even come close unless it did. And I'm just looking for shit to bitch about. Maybe I don't know. Uh, um, later on, though, Kenny Omega, it, he like they found a scissor lift. And yes. It gets lifted all the way to the top, and he freaking moon salts on everybody off of a scissor lift. Nasty. Now, at this point, this is what I, I said a few minutes ago, and I said I'm going to save it. They end up, like, in the tunnel to go out to the Jaguar Stadium. You could tell it was, like, where fan or where the teams ran out and, like, maybe they yeah. had a parade or a halftime show or whatever. That's where they came out. And you can clearly see the stadium – and it looked weird without the, the the field wasn't painted. It was just the turf. Yeah, yeah. They should have spilled out onto the field. How cool <laughs> would it have been to pin them at the fifty yard line? What would have oh. been the fifty yard line? Oh, it would have been the most badass thing ever. But they were probably worried about like fucking up the turf or some stupid yeah, thing Tony like Khan, that. You, got you know, money, bro. <laughs> you, you you sacrificed your Ford GT, your seven hundred thousand dollar car. Okay, okay, no, <laughs> you know. did it. You didn't let anybody touch it, and it was only on TV one time. But still, <laughs> you have you have money to buy a seven hundred thousand dollar car. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure there was a reason they didn't. And again, I'm the guy in the podcast. Yeah. They're the ones on the TV. But it would have been cool to spill out. But uh, Santana and Ortiz show up and attack Matt Hardy. Boom, mm -hmm. like they're outnumbered. There's nothing they can do. Chris Jericho pops the Judas effect right outside of the stadium, I might add, and yeah. gets the three count. Then the Inner Circle logo shows up on the scoreboard of the Jaguar Stadium, and that all was five cool. of the Inner Circle flips the camera off. What a wallpaper. Like that oh, my be, God. That would yeah. be absolutely amazing. Oh, so, that was, it was badass. It, this made the Inner Circle look so strong. Oh, yeah. Like so oh, strong. Oh, yeah. This, like, it made Adam Page out doing his cowboy shit look weak, and he wasn't even there just because <laughs> you're not there to help your homeboy getting his yeah. ass whooped at the Jacksonville Jaguars mm -hmm. football stadium. You're yeah. more worried about riding horses at the grocery store for a, a dime. Well, not only that, where the hell were Co uh, Cody and Dustin? Like, they're part of the, the elite or whatever, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Where the hell were they? That's what the hell call. were they doing? That's a good call. Secretly doing mm -hmm. cowboy shit with freaking Adam Page. <laughs> we just can't tell anybody, guys, because we're we're enemies. Yeah. <laughs> well, where was Cody for that matter when like Jake the Snake was borderline violating his fucking wife for crying yeah, out loud? I was expecting you know? him to come out, like for real. <laughs> but they did mention at that point that uh the yeah. locker room is like far away and you have to take a golf cart. And That's they had true. a golf cart, which we had no idea they had a golf cart at all tonight. There was no sign of a golf cart in sight. <laughs> yeah, until, until yeah, the uh, tag match there, yeah. the main event. Which Cody should have been on getting his wife. 
but yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's that is kind of weird. I didn't even think of that, but I don't know. They were out doing cowboy shit. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, obviously they they explained you know the young bucks and uh, Adam Page, but yeah, I was like, what the hell? Somebody's got to come and help these guys, you know? Yes, sir. Nobody did though. I don't know. Cody will say something about it next week. Sorry, I couldn't be there. I was doing cowboy yeah. shit. I was doing cowboy shit. Jesus Christ. Let's say, you know, Paige, we had cowboy beers. <laughs> Jesus. All in all, was... though, a good show. Very good show. I know, I don't know how long ago it was, but, like, it was when this crowd stuff first started. I had nothing but negativity to say on our show. Nothing but negativity. <laughs> but tonight I have nothing but positivity, except our stupid little gripes that, like, aren't, yeah. they're not deal-breaking. They're so cool. No, man. I thought it was a really, really good show. I mean, the only two parts really that, like, well, the Nyla Rose match was kind of stupid, but I liked what they're setting up with the women's division and all. And it was good to see her back on TV, you know. But the match was kind of dumb, you know. I wasn't into the match really at all. And that's not to take away from, um, you know, uh, the kid, basically, that she wrestled. I mean, that's a huge opportunity she has for a her name and her name is kenzie page okay kenzie page sorry sorry don't be sorry i, I was scrolling through my notes up i'm like i gotta find this girl's name <laughs> nah but i mean <laughs> i'd be geeking out if i were her i'd be like jesus man i'm 18 years old and wrestling the women's champion yes. i mean i know i'm gonna go out there and get I'm my gonna, ass I'm kicked job, but, but who else can say they job to nyla rose like yeah yeah i mean everybody jobs everybody literally everybody even if yeah. it's somebody we don't know in the indies when they're 15 years old, but then they get their push two days later. This somebody yep. has jobbed at some point in their life. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna see this girl again. She, I hope so. She held her own, man. Like she was, yeah. She held her own. She's got well, potential. She's only 18, and she was tearing it up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Especially only 18 years old. Like uh, the sky's the limit, you know. So hopefully, uh, this will this will be big for her. But, you know, other than that, um, uh, I mean, the QT Marshall Lance Lance Archer match was whatever. I, I like I almost feel bad for QT Marshall because I'm just like he's he's so likable, but he just he sucks. You know, he's going to lose. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He's, he's above jobber status, but he's a jobber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the only reason why he's above jobber status is because he hangs out with Cody and Brandy, you know, like that's it. It's just like, and he's likable, you know, but it's like, dude, you, you, you're in over your head, bro. Like they're, dude, Lance Archer is going to fucking eat you for lunch, man. Like right, get, get the right. fuck out of here. You have no chance. Don't even throw the punch. Just yeah. <laughs> like even that made a little bit of sense, you know. Uh but that was really the only two low points for me, really, and they weren't even like that bad. Like I can still find good stuff, you know, to say about it even though like mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm totally with you on the squash matches. I've never been a fan of squash matches. But whatever, yes, sir. you know. Yes, sir. Um we did get two two matches for uh double or nothing. Yep. Which is cool, which uh I'm really excited for them like i mean it's like what what, yeah uh, three weeks away ish and i'm like so ready 23rd yeah 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 i think you're right east side they're all like we're not gonna get you excited for the match until smackdown the friday before and even then it's gonna be mediocre yeah well here's a title match you didn't know was gonna happen but it's meh yep so they made me oh wait is it two matches it was mjf and then and then uh Moxley, and then that was it. Brody Lee, and then there's the the Lance Archer Cody Rhodes match. But I mean, we Which knew about that knew from about last that. week. Yeah. So, but we do know three matches now. So I mean, that's yeah. cool. And then um, Nyla Rose, who she's gonna wrestle. They yeah, did the she's gonna have a match tonight. So they're definitely gonna pull something out of her, out of that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there won't be any tag uh, tag team championship match though, probably because of uh, Adam Page's situation. Oh. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. That's okay, sucks. though. That's okay. You can pull it off without that. They did yeah. mention, I forgot to mention earlier, I, I missed it in my notes. They have, I don't know if they mentioned who was in it. They're going to have a double or nothing ladder match. Ooh, I didn't know about that. That's yes, cool. they plugged it, and it's got a cool promo screen, and it's got golden ladders on it, and the winner of the match gets a shot at the AEW title. Ooh, that's cool. So I don't I'm, know if they I'm mentioned who was that. in it. I don't know. But the thing I don't really like about that is unless you got your number one and your number two contender in it, it goes against your philosophy of wrestling. 
Yeah. Which they probably will. And it's again, that's yeah. a little gripe. That's all you can really have about AEW is little gripes. And it's not right. even really a gripe. Like, cool, if you have five and six, cool. I'm just saying you're going against what you're doing. That's all. That's I'm just well, throwing it out there. I think it, it, if they're going to have, like, a ladder match like that, you know, they should have, like, you know, the top four contenders or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or the top five. Or how many ever they want to have in the match, you right, know? Because, right, right, Which I'm, then it's I'm like, sure they probably will. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, whoever wins that is, like, they beat everybody else in the match anyway. So even if they were ranked ranked fifth or whatever, they beat fourth, third, second, and first. You know what I'm saying? Imagine the shock if Brock Lesnar did what he did in Money in the Bank last Oh, my year. God. Please don't let that happen. I hated that. I fucking – I mean, like, okay – I was into like the Brock party stuff and like when he was pretending like the briefcase was like a boom box but and shit. What and was, led to that, that was, was hilarious. Some butter. But What's me that? person what what led to that was some doo-doo butter. I will feel Oh like yeah. That. But me being the guy I am, I was all like, Y'all some suckers and you just don't like good <laughs> creative. You don't like good storylines. You're just mad that your boys lost to a better wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh. Brock, dude, he was only in the match for two minutes. Why should he waste his energy? He's going to win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why should he risk really getting hurt when he's going <laughs> to beat him any damn way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> Fucking Brock Lesnar. God damn it. Uh, Ugh. So that's our show. Thank you guys for listening. We went longer than we did tonight, but we also had a lot more talking points tonight. <laughs> we did. It was a good show. So, um, you know. We're going to have... Money in the Bank is Sunday. We're going to yes. well, we're, we're gonna have SmackDown Friday. Um, Money in the Bank is Sunday, and I told Kyle I'm gonna try to be on it as long as I can stay awake. Like, yeah, yeah. But we I might will try have to be on too, our depending. Money in the Bank prediction, not predictions. Um, recap, recap Sunday night, and hopefully I'm I on think... here talking about how Lacey Evans <laughs> missed Money in the Bank. Case. The only th- the um, only thing I'm scared about that is it's almost a shoe in. If you get the briefcase, they're going to pick a good cash in time and they're going to win the title. But there's that one out of 10 that cashes in and doesn't win the title. They're going to troll me. She's going to win. And then she's like your boy, go Baron out. Corbin. Yes. Yes. And then <laughs> she's going to lose her cash in and I'm going to be mad. <laughs> so I don't know. But yes, yeah, money in the bank Sunday night. It'll be up. And hopefully we'll have some good stuff to talk about. I think uh, I think Vince and Jay might be doing a prediction show for that as well. I'm not positive, but I know yeah, they, were they were saying about something about it. In the, but Vince yeah. is all like, oh, we got to do it in the morning, guys. But meanwhile, the other 17 guys in our chat are like, we work. Okay, yeah. We, we have things yeah. to do. <laughs> That's why we do yeah. things at 11 o'clock at night. Because Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I couldn't do that shit during the day. I could like, right, right. I, my kid would be running rampant, and so would my uh, girlfriend. So, mm-hmm. no, nighttime. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. When kids are sleeping and there's not stuff going on, I tried play, yep. playing Pokemon cards on Skype one time during the day, and it was just nope. My opponent was <laughs> like, "That's cool, you're fine." I'm like, "But it's not to me. Like, it's I can, yeah, there's stuff there, but I'm here, and it's I want there to not be there." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So it is. I want to focus. Yes. Yes. Precisely. So thank you guys for listening. We appreciate it. Um, leave comments, likes, let us know what we don't like. Um, I didn't plug our Twitter this morning, this morning. Oh Uh, shit. (laughs) I didn't plug our Twitter at the intro. (laughs) You can find me at two words. Can't see me. The letter C and you can find Kevin at Kevin crazy three sixteen on the Twitters. We are active and we want to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.